Hi and welcome back. Thanks for joining me as we explore some more of the fruit and character of the Holy Spirit. This morning Rachel looked at the fruit of kindness and today I want to look at that gift or the fruit of goodness. You know Holy Spirit is goodness personified. In him there's no shadow side. There's no sense of this is a, a, a person who could suddenly flip on me and show me his, his nasty side, his bad side, but he is 100% thoroughly good and he wants to bear inside of us that same, what the old-fashioned word used to be, virtue, that old, that sense of the virtue of goodness. So goodness as a fruit of the Holy Spirit in that Galatians passage talks about the sense of deep intrinsic moral goodness. It's a moral quality. It's not so much the external action of something, but it's that deep intrinsic quality within a person that identifies them as 100% good. For me, that's a very tall order. I'm not sure I could say I'm 100% good with no sort of shadows of anything else. There's, you know, when you say that's a person in whom there is no guile at all. That is what we're aiming for with this quality of goodness. And of course, God exemplifies that himself, but he wants to bear that fruit inside you and I. And that's the amazing thing about God. He wants us to be like him. And it's the Holy Spirit who develops that inside of us. Dictionary definitions that try to define goodness talk about a beneficence, bene from good in Latin, a, a, a readiness to do good. It is that quality which enables love to be expressed out of a pure motivation, not wanting anything in return, but just from a heart of sheer and utter goodwill to other people. Kindness is a manifestation of it, but goodness is the moral intrinsic quality deep inside. Let me share with you a couple of scriptures where this goodness comes up. 2 Thessalonians 1 and verse 11. Wherefore also we pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfil all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. This is a picture of how God models that goodness, that actually as he chooses to bless us, that blessing, that benediction, that bene, benediction or blessing upon our lives comes from the place of God's heart of being utterly good towards us. And in doing that, he chooses to share that quality with us. So that in Ephesians verse 5, uh, chapter 5 and verse 9 it says for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and faith you know very often the quality of goodness can be identified by people who are perhaps less tarred by life's experiences less suspicious of those around them and who simply almost instinctively respond to a person very often we find that in children, the innocence of children. And you will notice that a child is very quick to gravitate almost magnetically towards someone who is morally good, who exemplifies this fruit of goodness. Because they don't filter it through, you know, my former experience. They don't filter it through a suspicion of strangers. In fact, we train that in our children to be slightly more suspicious of strangers. But, you know, very often a child can pick up that intrinsic quality of goodness in a person. It's that which enables them to feel safe in that person's presence, to trust them, to give of themselves because they know this person is for me. They, their intentions are good towards me. Of course, it's God who truly exemplifies that. And I love that picture in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis, where Lucy is seen cuddling up against that great big lion Aslan, who is a picture of God in the story. And she says, you know, Aslan is fully good. And it's that picture of his goodness that God wants to exemplify for us, but then grow inside of you and I. You know, my heart is to be one who has good intentions towards all people. And I want Holy Spirit to grow that fruit of goodness inside of me, that deep, intrinsic, moral virtue of goodness. May you and I learn of that today. May we have that grown inside of us so that there are no shadow sides within us, but that actually deep, if you scratch our surface, you find goodness. If you dig a little bit deeper, you still find goodness. And that 
morally and intrinsically we are good through and through. May God grow that inside of us because it's out of that intrinsic moral quality that we can extend the hand of kindness to other people. These things are always connected together and you'll find that in the fruit of the Spirit there are some that naturally go together and love, kindness and goodness are ones that naturally partner because kindness is the outward expression of those qualities of the agape love of God and that goodness, that moral intrinsic goodness that wants to bless those around. So may you and I let that goodness grow inside of us so that we can be a blessing to others, that we can turn towards others with that pure heart that says, I 100% want to bless you. I don't have any sense of wanting to curse or to, to do bad to you, but I want to bless you. Our world needs that blessing today. And I believe that as the children of God rise up and let that fruit grow from within them. That goodness, that moral quality of goodness will shine all the brighter in a world that is so clouded with the opposite side. Let us be those who shine out, who manifest the goodness of God in our world, and through that, draw them magnetically to the source of that goodness, God himself. May God richly bless you today. Join us again tomorrow as we continue our series. Hope it's been a blessing to you. Take care.